Hang on a minute, I'm just getting it up. Right, here we go. So, you will not know what I'm talking about, but I will put a screenshot there, or where, wherever, wherever. Um, so, I put on Instagram a post of, obviously, you'll see the screenshot, what does reselling mean to you? Um, I basically highlighted in, in the post that I'm going to actually do a video about it, sharing a few of the comments that were on the post. Now, my intention was to share everyone's comments on the post, um, on the Instagram post, and obviously share them with you guys in a video, and then, obviously, I may get comments on video this video and we can have a chat about the different ways or uh, the different reasons why we do reselling what it means to us etc but I've actually got 36 comments on this Instagram post and some of them are essays some of them are really really long so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read through um, a good selection of them with you guys when we get to maybe the 15 minute mark on this video I think I'm gonna call it quits because I I just don't want to be sat here for four, sat here, stood here for 45 minutes or so reading comments to you guys. But I did, I did thought this was quite a nice video idea, uh, and that's why I put the post on Instagram just because. I wanted to get a feel for what other people, why other people do reselling and what it actually means to them. So obviously if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do go and follow me. I've nearly got a thousand subscribers, so it'd be brilliant to hit a thousand subscribers. Although at some point in time, I'm going to get there. So it doesn't matter if it's today, it doesn't matter if it's in two months time. At some point, I'm going to get there. But if you haven't already, please do follow me on Instagram. I'll put a link up somewhere. And if you didn't see this post and you don't, and you want to actually share your thoughts on what we sign means to you, just drop a comment down below in the YouTube uh, description or the YouTube comment section and I'll be sure to get round to your comment as soon as possible. We sell a junkie on Instagram was the first to comment I believe um, and he put simply one word answer and that is money. So obviously a, a lot of us, the vast majority of people, probably one of the biggest reasons why we do this is for the money. I mean Yes, okay, there's a lot more to it than that, and there's a lot more I'm going to be explaining, or other people will have explained in the comments that I'm going to read out. But one of the biggest reasons we all do this is just to get more money, and it is, again, it's kind of a, a an unconventional way of making money, and quite a fun way of making money as well. So, yeah, David there just goes in straight with the, the big one. He obviously does it for the money, and I'm sure he gets a lot of passion out of it as well. But one of the biggest motivators for him is obviously the money with resign. So that is a big one. Um, we've got uh, do do copper tree reseller. The flexibility to earn a bit of pocket money around my toddler. Um, hopefully, as he grows, we'll be able to invest more time and effort into a sustainable wage. It also satisfies my bargain hunting urge without wasting any money on myself. That's quite a nice one. And obviously, um, move, kind of um, tying into that is obviously if you've got a young child, you're obviously, if you're maybe if you're a full-time reseller, you can actually see them grow up more. You've got a lot more time to spend with them, all that sort of stuff. So that's a brilliant uh, sort of reason to be doing it. And obviously, she says there just to earn a bit more pocket money. So again, tying it into money. A lot of us, as I mentioned, will probably be doing this for the money. Um, and and again, bargain hunting, like she says, that's that's a big one for me. Just like going out there, the thrill of the hunt, um, just buying what you can. We all have that. Uh, commonality of when we're looking for items, when we're going sourcing, no matter what we're sourcing, no matter where we're sourcing, whether it's auctions, charity shops, car boots, going through people's houses, garages, etc. Wherever we're sourcing, we all have that same feeling of, oh, what what am I going to find today? So yeah, that's, that's a really nice comment there. Shopping with Sophie says, it means we can afford to do things like have a nice holiday every year. So again, Quite a simple one, but again, that's probably uh, one that a lot of people can relate to. You know, just actually getting a little bit of money set aside each year, a bit of extra money, maybe if this is your, if this isn't your full-time job, uh, but a bit of extra money that you can maybe go on an extra holiday a year or something like that. So yeah, that's quite a good one. Indie Chick Escapes, who is oh, I don't know a real name. I don't know a real name, but Indie Chick Escapes. I think I do, but I can't remember it anyway. Um, but she doesn't use a real name on Instagram anyway. So Indie Chick Escapes, uh, no boss, no commute, no lining someone else's pockets or dancing to others' agendas. Um, no more lo lost sunny days, which is another good advantage actually, taking it from a more sort of um, 
I suppose a less kind of monetary point of view and a more just kind of enjoying life point of view. So no more wasted uh, sunny days stuck inside or waiting waiting for home. Uh, no more trying to cram life, my life into a weekend, hoping that the weather will be good. No more spending a fortune on a two week holiday to try and buy happiness, but dreading it ending as I knew work was looming. Um, I could go on. So basically, she's essentially saying that she, from what I'm getting from this, she felt a little bit trapped in a job. Um, she didn't feel like um, she was very happy there. So I think that now she's obviously become a full-time reseller. At least I think she's a full-time reseller. She can now obviously spread her wings. She's got the time. If it, if the sun outside, if it's a sunny day, she can go outside. She doesn't need to be tied to a desk. So yeah, that's that's more of we're moving maybe more into with this comment like the um, sort of personal side of. The, the motivations, the personal motivations for doing reselling, aside from kind of money and things like that. So, yeah, that's quite a nice comment there. There's been a couple of re replies on that comment as well, but I won't, won't read them out. Um, so, where are we um, now? So, Catherine, Reseller UK, working for myself from home means that if I'm having a particularly bad day, uh, bad depression or anxiety day. I don't have to leave the house. I don't even have to get out of my pajamas if I don't want to. I cannot work for the day um, and take care of myself instead. It means I don't feel guilty about letting someone else or colleagues down. It is freedom. So again, quite a personal one for me because a lot of you guys know I've been through anxiety. Uh, I'm still going through anxiety. So it's kind of, I've had a lot of days like that, like uh, Catherine describes, you know, where you just, you're so anxious or you're so depressed or whatever it may be and you just don't feel like you can get up, you don't feel like you can do the amount of work that you that you maybe feel like you need to do. Um, but with reselling, obviously it's a lot more flexible, you don't have to go to a job, it's not like a 9 to 5 job. And also you can do the sort of the bare minimum if you like, if you are feeling really down on a day, you can do that kind of bare minimum, uh, maybe list a couple of items if you've got a couple of photos on your phone or something like that and then just just be done. Um, but also I wanted to add to that comment because when I was uh, when I first read it actually on the uh, comment section on Instagram, I was kind of thinking that sometimes when I've uh, gotten over my anxiety, at the, it, so the best times I've gotten over my anxiety is when I've actually be, been doing more stuff. So sometimes now I try and kind of, I wouldn't say I force myself to do things, but I certainly try and do more on the days that I'm anxious because I know that if I can just push through that a little bit, then the anxiety subsides a little bit more. And then obviously the next day I feel even more positive because I've kind of not let my anxiety hold me back. But obviously if you are kind of in um, a really, if you're, if you're kind of really in that place of uh, your anxiety is very, very powerful in a certain day or a moment, then obviously it's understandable that you can't necessarily, or you feel like you can't necessarily um, even get out of bed and anything like that. And as I say, I've been that that bad before where I do not want to get out of bed and it feels like it's the world is going to end if you get out of bed. It's pretty intense. But yeah, so that's one that I could relate to quite a lot. Power Reselling, who is Corey, and he has a YouTube channel as well as an Instagram account, which is Power Reselling. Um, love the, this idea adds. To me, it means freedom and enjoyment. I get a kick out of progress. And again, if you watch uh, Power Reselling, uh, Corey's channel, you will see that he's a very motivated young guy. And he loves progress and you can see on his channel that he's progressing with every video. So yeah, go and check it out his videos, his channel if you haven't already. Um, right then, where are we now? Um, Harry Boutique Reseller. Yeah, that's right. That was quite a, a mouthful there. But Harry Boutique Reseller. No boss, no dread of getting up and dragging myself out to work. Um, most and most importantly, I can watch my children grow and become a li amazing little humans whilst earning money. The flexibility makes family life a lot more enjoyable and a lot easier. Now, that's something that I can't particularly relate to in the sense that uh, this person here can relate to because um, they've obviously got children. I haven't got children, but in terms of relating it to myself, in um, you know, my current family situation, I do think it is quite, it, it's a double-edged sword, it can be easy and then it can be hard on some days, like we're all probably familiar with, some days, you know, certain family members may feel like they can come round or want to do things with you on a day that you want to work and then 
other days um, you might not be working and then they're doing other things so you can't schedule anything with them when you'd like to and then it kind of can mess up your week a little bit but on the whole to be honest um, the kind of flexibility that we have with this job means that we can actually uh, sort of work around family and we can kind of do things sort of when it suits them as well as well as when it suits us um, but yeah it's kind of one of those two things but again we're going back to this um, because also they say um, about obviously watching their kids grow up so that is again a lot of people have said this so many people have said this about the the um, amazing idea with reselling that obviously if you're full time if you're a full time reseller you can actually watch your kids grow up you can spend so much more time with them than you would in a conventional job so I think that's just a, a huge one as well and I hope that I am full time reselling still uh, if I ever have kids in the future because. I, I would just so I just really enjoy being able to spend time with them and of course there's going to be times where um, they, they might make you less productive let's say but it's kind of you know the joy of having them there and um, being able to spend more time with them far outweighs that those days where you might be a little bit less productive because on the, in the whole over months and months or over years and years those few produ unproductive days or whatever or those few unproductive hours you know each day you, they're not going to matter they might add up a little bit but they're not going to matter that much because if you love spending time with your kids and you love your job you're going to be able to balance both the two in the end anyway some days might be a bit hard to do that but um you know hopefully in the longer term you'll be able to do that so yeah that's quite a nice one again there's been a couple of replies on that but i'm not going to read out the, the replies so i can get through as many more of these as we can so, um, Mad Burns Design says 60 and unemployed. Um, he says it's a long story, but he was basically ill. Um, he's put here D DWP. Now, I don't know what that is. I, maybe it stands for an illness or something. I'm, I'm not sure, but if anyone knows in the comments what D, uh, DWP stands for. Um, anyway, he said you get the idea. Uh, could not work so he basically couldn't work and he's always dabbled in part-time selling and he's now recently uh, took the full-time plunge and he's absolutely loving it so yeah but I mean I think that there's that there's two brilliant stages I feel in your life where part-time reselling is absolutely perfect for you and I think that the two main type times in your life are when you're coming into that retirement age and then obviously when you're younger maybe you're just turning 18 as a kind of a part-time job you could do reselling so i think that like both ends of the spectrum when you're really young or when whether you're getting into that retirement age they're a really good two times to actually start part-time reselling and then obviously if you want to go full-time you know if you're getting into retirement you've got the option to do that and then obviously if you're 18 or 20 or whatever um and you you're, you're earning enough with it part-time to go full-time you can then transition into full-time so i mean it's two good times to start reselling you know at the, the young end, end of the spectrum but obviously old enough to own a business and stuff and then the uh, obviously older end of the spectrum when you're maybe retiring from a full-time job but you want something to keep you going a little bit more so that's quite a nice comment retro resell at 88 um, it's something to it's something productive to focus my attention on and a way of affording treats and extras for the family so again much like shopping with Sophie said about you know holidays and things like that affording those extras for your family that's always a brilliant um, idea as well uh, right then where where are we now uh, D underscore it's me 15 uh, best thing in the world means I can shop for things that aren't actually for me um, and make money at the same time also uh, I can work at my own pace and not have to work for anyone else so again another thing another uh, more personal uh, one again then again maybe less focused on money the element of money is there but the running theme for a lot of these is it isn't mainly money obviously as i mentioned at the start money is a big factor in reselling and your ability and your want to actually do reselling but um on the whole a lot of these are more kind of um being able to obviously control anxiety and depression or be able to work for yourself or have things somewhat more in your own control or you know things like that or being able to afford different things for your family or being able to uh, raise your kids in you know maybe uh, with a little bit more time you can give a little bit more time to your kids so a lot of it is centric around more personal 
uh, you know, family oriented happiness type things rather than just money. But obviously the money comes if you love reselling anyway and you end up doing it to a good standard that allows you to earn earn good money. Uh, Welsh Carbooter says, it's a hobby that allows me to make some cash. Well, once I actually get around to listing stuff, that is. Uh, Adventures in Reselling, which is Andrea. Uh, definitely freedom um, and the control of my own life. We've been able to spend more time with our grand... Uh, I've said, nearly said granddaughter then. Uh, with our daughter as she didn't have... Uh, to go to the childminder, we uh, can set our own hours and we can work as hard or as little as we want or need. Um, it's also given us a job, uh, in quotes or sort of air quotations or whatever, um, that we enjoy so it never actually feels like work, it's simply just a part of our life. And again, um, that just uh, makes me think of kind of this reselling lifestyle. A lot of people uh, allude to this kind of, or talk about this kind of reselling lifestyle and uh, the fact that reselling is actually a lifestyle in itself and I think you've kind of touch on, touched on that a little bit there, Andrea, with the kind of thoughts of it's become a part of your life. It's kind of, it, it, it does become this kind of lifestyle. It's not that you have set working hours or anything like that. It's just a, a kind of, it's like a flow. It's like a light, your life kind of flows somewhat, you know, it's like... Um, the the days blend together, but I, I know that can, that can kind of seem like a um, a pessimistic kind of thing. But I don't actually mean it in a pessim pessimistic way. I actually mean the days blend together and it kind of flows quite nicely with your life. Um, so yeah, yeah, I definitely get that. There's a lot of good points there. Again, again, talking about seeing the kids grow up. That's that's a big one. Um, G May zero four eight four freedom the ability for my wife and I to live a lifestyle we want to. I have moved across the world and set up our life in another country while still contributing to my household, even if only in a small way. It allowed me to replace the income I made from a very difficult and emotionally draining part-time job um, in the healthcare sector, with only one that I can uh, wake up. With with one that I could oh with one that I could wake up to every morning and know I can work in my own terms right that's brilliant I got a little sidetrack there I couldn't I, I don't know why I couldn't read it or whatever but um, it also allows my wife and I to make the most of her career as a high school teacher by fitting work around school holidays I think reselling has had a really Im a positive impact on both of us and has literally improved our minds uh, for so many reasons so again I, this is what I hear a lot of people when I hear people's stories. It's this improvement of their lives, like this, um, their lives, maybe financially, maybe um, emotionally, maybe um, maybe they've been ill, they've got some sort of, sort of illness, and it's able to alleviate the, the pain of that illness or help them get through an illness. It just seems to be uh, one of these things that really drags people up and gives them uh, positivity and positive thought and really just helps people through their life. So I'm just going to read another couple because I, I bet we're over the 15 minute mark already. Yeah, we're about 18 minutes. So I'm just going to read another couple. There's no way I'd get through all of these. I do want to read Caroline's actually. So that is quite a long one. So I think I owe it to her to read it. Uh, Jason's uh, resign, who I think is Jason M. Whistle, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, not having to go to a depressing job anymore. No more stun Sunday night dread, working at home, being my own boss, being flexible around my family demands, uh, enjoying what I do and making new friends in the resign community. And that's the first one we've actually heard today of actually making new friends because that's what we've all done within the resign uh, community. We've obviously... Um, Kind of, it kind of feels like without knowing it, we've kind of made new friends. We're just literally, by if you put the videos out there, if you comment on a few posts on Facebook or Instagram, you like, by default, you make friends because within this community, we're, it's just such a nice, loving, inviting community to be in. And we kind of just all merge as one in one respect. And it doesn't matter what sort of background you've come from, we all just accept each other, we all help each other, we all obviously uh, want each other to do better, and, and that's just absolutely brilliant at the end of the day. Again, there's a reply on that one, but as I said, I'm not going to read out the replies, so what I'm going to do is just scroll down because there's so many. Uh, Reseller uh, Circus says, doing the job I truly love, I have no career envy whatsoever. That's always nice, you know, when you know that you're doing the job that's meant for you and that you don't need to... Um, you know, think about, oh, well, what if I could do this, or what if I could do that, or wouldn't this be brilliant to do? It's just, 
you're already here. You're in the job you want to do. So that's quite brilliant. Um, right, so I'm going to scroll down to Caroline's because it's quite a long one. And I wanted to do her the courtesy of reading it out. So Caroline, Mrs. M, obviously, again, you've got a, she's got a YouTube channel. You probably know who she is. Um, money. So she had money, full stop. More than I made through working in a real job. Um, freedom. Though I uh, work harder now than I ever have done. So maybe not as much freedom as I imagine. Um, I miss working with other people, but I don't miss having a boss. Also, without wanting to sound like a show off, um, I have never imagined that making YouTube videos about my hobby, which be which then became my job, would have the effect of inspiring people to have a go at reselling and in a lot of cases literally uh, change people's lives for the better. I've had a lot of amazing messages from people telling me I've made a positive difference to their lives and that is incredible. To be told repeatedly you are an inspiration is both humbling and amazing because to me I'm just an over... I don't really want to say this bit. Actually. You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to say that bit because it makes it sound like I'm saying that and I'm not saying that at all. So um, yeah, anyway, but I'm not going to read it out because it's not um, the best uh, little bit to read out at the end. Anyway, so um, I'll just quickly go down see if there's... Oh, there's only one more comment here. I've missed a few out, but I'm not going to read them all. Like, it would take a long time. Um, car boot sale hunter, no boss, and that bargain buzz you get when uh, you get a hundred pound haul for a fiver. Yeah, that is that buzz again. Uh, I don't know whether many people have actually talked about this on the uh, comments there, but again, that sort of the thrill of the hunt, um, the buzz that you you find in uh, one of these items that is you know a, an amazing value, whether it be you know five pound into a hundred pound or. £50 into £500 or £10 into £80, whatever it is, one of those slightly bigger scores that are really, really nice. I know actually uh, one person said that near the start, didn't we, about the full of the bargain hunt. But anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. If you did enjoy this video, then please do get a thumbs up. If you would like to put what reselling means to you down below, then please feel free to do that. And I'll be back very soon with another video. Don't forget, oh, wrong way. I can never do this the right way. Uh, don't forget, please do like the video and please do subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon. So I'll see you very soon, guys.